Hey, this is Donnie Smith. In this video, I'm going to show you how to dress the welds, how to grind them, and then how to apply fiberglass filler. And first, I'm using a stone grinder. And uh, you want to take your time doing this because you don't want to overheat the metal. And I uh, removed a lot of this video, edited a lot of it uh, for one. It may be boring just watching me grinding, but you do want to take your time. And another reason, you know, a lot of it's just my backside. And I thought I'd spare you of that. So anyway, uh, after I got done with the stone grinder, I'm using the 36 on a Rolock disc with this cordless drill. And I went over it with that to make sure that everything's good and clean. And now I'm even using some sandpaper to uh, make sure that I've got all the areas good and clean and that I'm not going to have any contamination or problems you know, with this weld whenever I go to apply the fiberglass filler. A fiberglass filler really needs to be applied anytime you make a weld, uh, you know, because if there's a little pinholes, it helps seal much better than body filler. Uh, now I'm going over it with a wire brush just to get down in the in the weld, just to assure there's no uh, rust that I may not can see, just so I can assure that everything's good and clean. And now I'm using a paint brush to remove all the dust and dirt since I don't, don't have an air compressor. Uh, this is just cleaning it all off to assure there's nothing uh, going to cause adhesion problems. So I'm dusting it off with a uh, paintbrush. Now I'm going to use some wax and grease remover just to make sure that the metal is good and clean. After using wax and grease remover, you know, wipe it down and make sure it's dry before you start applying the fiberglass filler. You don't want it to be uh, wet or apply it over a wax and grease remover when it is still wet. So I'm going to wipe it down and then let it air dry just to make sure that it is dry. Now that I've got this wiped down, I've got it clean, I'm going to start mixing the fiberglass filler and it mixes much like body filler. And what fiberglass filler is, it's a filler that has fiberglass strands in it. And as I mentioned, this really needs to be applied over welds, this or an aluminum filler like all metal, and this helps seal it off much better than body filler. And uh, once this is uh, applied, uh, you can apply body filler over this once it's sanded. But I'm mixing it up here, making sure that it's mixed really good so that there are no streaks left in it. You want to mix it till it's one uniform color. And uh, just like with body filler, make sure it's mixed really good. Then when you go to applying this to your weld location, you want to make sure that you push down real hard with a tight coat, followed by a fill coat. And this is the same thing as with body filler or glaze or anything. So the first coat I'm going to push down real hard with a spreader just to make sure that it's forced into any scratches and into the weld location and this provides better adhesion and once I do that I'll go to cross the weld location pushing down really hard then I'll come back with a fill coat and this is done by applying less pressure to the spreader and that allow me to uh, uh, apply a thicker coat you know to, to provide something to sand and then once it's sanded you can apply body filler to finish your shaping so you can see the, the steps I'm doing here. Now I'm doing my fill coat. Now in this video, what you normally could do is just sand this and then you can apply uh, fire, uh, plastic filler straight on top of that once it's sanded. But I'm not going to have time to do that in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and, and spread this, get it good and even. And then I'm just going to apply some self etch primer on there so that any of the metal that I did not get fiberglass on you know, that won't rust and start rusting and uh, then whenever I do you know it'll be a different day whenever I do this I'll have to take that back off so I'll sand the the self etch primer off and then continue with my body filler that's it for this video we'll see you in the next video when we are applying body filler thanks for watching talk to you soon